Thank you. Good evening, uh, Chris. Uh, clearly, you're up against an elite team tonight, but do you think that uh, your team contributed to its own demise, problems at set pieces again, and a goal off a turnover? Yeah, it's, it's, it's frustrating, right? Because, you know, there's oftentimes it's X's and O's and things that, you, you know, That, that you uh, you can prepare for it in, in a strategic way but in this game it was it was clear right they, we knew they were not going to change what they who they are and what they do you know we, we know they play roughly 90 long balls per game like it was going to be very very clear that it was going to be a day about field position about second balls about you know where turning over the ball in bad spots and playing the game in, in certain areas and, and yeah with that there's there's set pieces and of course it's a good team but we, we let ourselves down um, defending our box again so you know there's not a magic solution for that man to man or to the zone it's about urgency and alertness and reactions. That's clearly, not, you know, we have work to do there. We have work to do there. And uh, it cost us tonight. And you can talk about the other games too where, where we let ourselves down. And, and, and it'll be hard to win soccer games when that stuff's not right. So I will figure that out. We're at halftime right now. And, and we're going to cruise a little and scoring first. And we'll, we're going to make it a game. Next Tuesday, I mean, not to give away any secrets or anything, but, you know, sort of looking at it at, from this vantage point, do you figure you guys have to make drastic changes or just sort of straighten some things out and maybe hopefully get a couple of healthy players back? Or what, what are your thoughts uh, heading into that second game, even though the first game just ended? Look, when you think talk about drastic changes, you're asking about personnel, is it tactics? I mean, it's it's... We, we have a core group here. We, we have our guys, you know, and, and we understood clearly what the game would look like. So the interesting thing is when you, when you can put yourselves in positions to, to win second balls, when you can secure the first pass, you can catch Cruz's all the other way. And we did that. At times you did that. Um, and that's, that's, you know, strategy and, and, and game planning stuff, but, it still has to come down to more urgency, more competing, anticipating uh, reactions again all over the field, so that you can you can create more transition moments by just you know sniffing out enough plays, and then again it, it's uh, you know we'll we'll have to just be much more tight on set pieces, right? It's it's. I've been part of I've been part of stretches like this when, when some of that it, it's not quite right. We'll we'll put players in position to succeed. We're going to get that right. But um, I already can tell you what the game is going to look like from Cruz's little standpoint. Again, there was no secrets tonight. They're a good team. They can play. That's a if some of you don't realize, you can go back and look at how good that team is. They don't have not lost much in this last year. You know, um, so we knew it would be tough. Um, not a lot of room for error. We'll make some changes, probably some structural changes to put ourselves in spots, and we'll, we'll take the next days to think about that.